morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about admitting when you're wrong. Now, this conversation comes from Charlamagne giving himself darker today because of what, Charlamagne? Yes, because I was wrong about uh, my prediction for the Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford fight, but not just because I was wrong because there's plenty of people who picked Earl Spence. The fact that I sat here and told Terrence Crawford his face, he was going to lose the Earl Spence. All right, so... Yes. We're asking right now, 800-585-1051, when is the last time you had to admit that you were wrong? That is the question. When the last time you had to admit you was wrong? Um, I always, I, I pretty much always admit when I'm wrong. I, I'll call a person or call my wife or my kids or whoever it may be. I, I admit when I'm wrong. You don't be, you don't admit that you wrong for wearing Beijing in your beard and lying about it. I never lied and I never put Beijing in my beard. You never put Beijing, just for men. Now, if you want to say just for men, that's a different conversation. Okay, but you know what I'm but talking about. But you know, no, 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 no. But you know what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. I don't have to be specific. What I'm no, saying be is that you color your beard. You dye your beard. Yes. Yes. I do. So no matter what product you use, no, but you, you can't. You, you don't you Beijing do dye your beard. Don't Beijing me. It's the same thing. No, it's not. You know what I mean? No, it's not. Well, at least you're admitting it. So you're admitting that you're wrong. You're admitting you're admitting that you was lying. I never lied. You should admit you was. You just always said Beijing. I just don't agree with Beijing. I use another product. Listen, we all got eyes. Okay. Yeah, I hate you. Yo. All right. Your beard, Akon's head. Same thing. It's not the same Pause. thing, man. And I'm a 45. He's like a 55. Okay. You mean coloring? A a that's See, jet. I don't know what you're talking about because I don't color my beard. Akon is jet black. God, damn, man. Why you knock everything <laughs> over? Jesus Christ. When it, I mean hurt, jet, it hurt to have to admit that. And when I say jet black, I mean the hair color. He's jet black. His toupee, yeah. It's like black, black. Yes. And then I'm like dark brown. Yes. All right, what else? what else? That's it. I already admitted. It. Last time y'all heard me, just admit the last time I was wrong. Hello, who's this? Hello, my name is Alicia. Hey, Alicia, when is the uh, last time you had to admit you were wrong? About a week ago. A week ago, what happened? So, I'm not gonna put it all out there, but a situation happened, and assuming from previous situations that the person was wrong, but they were right. And I just had to suck it up from a big girl sending me home to apologize. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. That. I mean, when you're wrong, I feel when you're an adult and you're wrong, just go ahead and apologize. Why, why lie? That's right. Why right. keep up the antics? Who are you scared of? That's right. That's right. Especially grown people. I do not understand why adults uh, feel the need to lie. You know what I mean? No, just I admit either. you was wrong and keep it moving. Yeah, and the crazy thing is the reason that I, I like to do, especially with the kids and the families, because I want my kids to, if they're wrong, uh, regardless of what happens, I want them to be able to admit it and not you know, necessarily be scared of the punishment. Like, just to you know, stand on what, whatever they did and we'll figure it out. We, we got Rock on the line. Hello, who's this? Rock, what's up, Envy? What's, what's going, going on, on brother? Now? What up now? What's up, Charlamagne? What's happening? Peace, King. How are you, brother? You know, I can't complain, man. I'm blessed, black, and highly favored. You know what I mean? There you go. Now, talk to us. The yeah. last time you had to admit you were wrong, brother. That's every time I wake up and every time I go to sleep. Every, you married, Charlamagne, Charlamagne married. Y'all right. know. I mean, it's, it's, it's every time, I mean, every time you wake up in the morning. What time you guys wake up in the morning? Four o'clock. Me too, four o'clock. And my wife rolled over and she like, come on, man. And I'm like, you know what? I'm my bad. When I go to sleep at night, <laughs> when I go to sleep at night, it's like, what time you waking up in the morning, Rock? Four o'clock. She's like, don't be waking me up. I said, you know what? You're right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That I I do not like when my wife says that to me. It says what? Like four o'clock in the morning, and you know what I'm saying? And she's like, don't don't wake me up. I'm not trying to. Oh, I my alarm goes off at four. I get up, I go in the bathroom. I got thing, I got to shower, I got to get ready. So if I I can't if I'm making a little bit of noise, I don't want to hear don't wake me up. I'm already up. It's four o'clock in the morning. Right. And, and see the the see I get shushed. Like I get shushed. I'm, and I'm like, don't shush me like I'm trying to make a lot of noise. Word is born. I know the baby's sleeping and I'm trying to you know, tippy toe around to get you to get out of here, but it's I gotta take a shot. There's things I gotta do. I things I gotta do. Like don't like don't wake me up at four. Like, could you be less quiet in the morning? Like what the hell? And the, and the sad thing is, when my alarm goes off, I try to dive to get that phone off because I'm like I don't want to wake up the baby. I don't want to wake up my wife. I literally aimed at my phone this morning to wake Cardi B. Aimed at that girl <laughs> with that microphone. It's the truth. 
Straight up. Because I hit it one time, bong, at 4 o'clock, and I hit the snooze button. And, and it feels like every morning when I try to be quiet, I always drop something. I drop my phone. I drop my keys. Yes. I drop. It, it is what it yes. is. Cause this, I ain't go front. This morning was a little bit tough because, like, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm more of a wine person on the weekends. Mm -hmm. I drink tequila when I'm out socializing. Mm -hmm. But I was so stressed over the fight Saturday that I drank like three three drinks of tequila. You know, you didn't fight, right? Three shots of tequila. You know, it wasn't you. I know. You know, you don't manage Errol. You know, you have nothing. But to what's do with crazy it. is I drank that tequila on Saturday. You were still drunk. It Sunday. took me at least thirty six hours to recover, and I didn't do nothing yesterday but stay home. The older you get, it's harder to recover from the alcohol. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. If you're just tuning in, Charlemagne gave himself donkey today because of what, Charlemagne? Uh, because I was wrong about my prediction of Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, but not just wrong about the prediction. When Terrence Crawford was here, I told him several times he was going to lose that fight to Earl, and I've been saying that over the years. Uh, so you know, it just felt like the right thing to do. All right, so we're opening up the phone lines, 800-585-1051. Ask him, when's the last time you had to admit you were wrong? Hello, who's this? Uncle Envy, Uncle Charlotte, KK from Brownsville calling in. Oh, KK, you calling back. What's up, KK? You already. Talk to us. Well, I want you I want you guys to tell me if I'm wrong, right? I got a friend that's incarcerated right now. You know what I'm saying? So he called me, like, you know, here and there, probably like twice a day sometimes. So he didn't want to give up his connect. And it's no drug business. I'm just saying his connect, and he denied it, so I stopped answering his calls. So am I wrong? I mean, if that's your man, you know he ain't really got nobody to speak to, so you should answer the phone. But what connect? What, what, what are we talking? About getting a crib and all that shit. Like, oh, he should give up that. He should give up that connect easily. Exactly. So am I wrong for not answering the calls now? So, you, so he petty, so you being petty. What if, he's exactly. call, what if he's calling you to give you the connect, though? That's true, too. Oh, Uncle Charlotte, you're right about that. Uh, well, he might be calling you to give you the connect, and you're not answering the phone. You're right. I, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. <laughs> Have a good day, man. I, I, I really don't be knowing what's wrong with y'all sometimes. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Sherry Wellstorm. Hey, good morning. Sherry, now when's the last time you had to admit you were wrong, Mama? Yesterday. What happened? So my friend was that UFOs are real. And of course, I came. Hold on, hold on, mommy. Sherry, started. Sherry, Sherry, take us off Bluetooth for speaker. Yeah, I'm trying to. You got us? Yeah. All right. Now, tell us the last time you had to admit you were wrong. So, yesterday, um, my friend and I were talking, and he was telling me that UFOs are real for like the longest time. And I was just like, I grew up in a time where people who believe in UFOs are either conspiracy theories or like crazy. And um, so we were arguing back and forth and then he hit me with the news clip where they like admit that UFOs are real. First of all, why, <laughs> and wouldn't, I tried to hit him with the, why, why wouldn't you believe uh, in extraterrestrials, man? Tell me why. Oh boy. Why wouldn't I believe in yeah, it? Yeah, tell me why you wouldn't believe. I want to know why you wouldn't believe. Like, I can't get it. Yo, there's a hundred billion planets. I estimated a hundred billion planets in just the Milky Way galaxy. You think that we the only planet out of a hundred billion planets with life on them? Not anymore. When you look at the <laughs> Earth, when you look at the Earth and you see all of the different creatures in the woods and all the different, you know, uh, creatures that's under the water and all the different creatures in the sky, you think that the Earth, I mean, the, the universe isn't as diverse as Earth is when it comes to life? Yeah, no, I didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Well, thank you, Mama. But Oops. Hello, who's this? Hey, what's up? This is James. James, what's up? Talk to us. We're talking about the last time you had to admit you were wrong. Uh, actually, uh, yesterday, uh, I, I checked out that movie, uh, The Flash, for the first time. Yep. I thought it was going to be garbage because, you know, it was saying all kinds of just messed up stuff about the movie and, and so I was like oh, I knew it was going to be trash but then I checked it out I was like nah this is actually pretty good well that's also why you got to go check things out on your, on your own you know what I'm saying yeah yeah that's yeah Everybody. I told myself that a long time ago, man. I was like, man, I ain't going to listen to these critics no more. I'll just check stuff out myself. But then I, I fell into it again. Everybody got an opinion. I haven't seen The Flash either because I hate DC. I think DC sucks. But I have heard people tell me that they <laughs> think The Flash is a good movie. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, man. The, the storyline surprised me. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. And it's not that DC sucks. DC film sucks. Their films suck. You know what I like? Mm-mm. 
Yeah, I do that a lot with movies too. I'll, I'll listen to somebody say they don't like something, and then I watch it. I'm like, I actually enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Like my newest thing now is I'm on Suits. I don't know if you guys watch Suits, but Suits is a is a it's a great show on Netflix. I think it was originally on Hulu, but now it's on Netflix now, and I love it. Like I'm addicted to it. I think it's like eight seasons, and it's a a, a really good uh, lawyer attorney type of uh, film, or I should say series, which is very very good. It's it's about the attorneys, but it's, it's more about revenge, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. All right. Well, what's the moral of the story, Charlamagne? The moral of the story is, man, don't be afraid to admit when you're wrong. It's really, it's really just that simple. And don't bet against uh, Bud Crawford. All right. Now, when we come back, we got to discuss Gilly the King. Uh, you know, he had his show. Today's Gilly over the birthday weekend. too. Well, today's Gilly Today birthday. Gilly born. Oh, happy man. birthday to Gilly. We'll discuss. He had his Gilly festival over the weekend, and we'll talk, tell you all about it. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.